Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will discuss how to write the standard equation of the circle with center located at the origin and with given radius and diameter. So before we discuss our lesson for today, let us first recall the equations of the circle. Okay, so if the circle is located, if the center of the circle is located at the origin, we could say that the standard equation would be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. If the center is located at the origin or point zero, zero. And if the center is now located at hk, where h is the x coordinate of the center and k is the y coordinate of the and k is the y coordinate of the center, we could finally say that the equation would become x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Again, h and k are the coordinates of the center, where r is the radius. Always remember that this radius must be the given radius of the problem. So if it is a diameter, we have to know that radius is half of the diameter. Okay? Again, radius is half of the diameter. Or we could say that the diameter is twice the radius. So that is the relationship between the radius and the diameter. So let us now try to solve this problems. So we have four problems. Again, so we will start with um, determining the standard equation of the circle with the center at the origin and with di given different radius. Okay, so we could say that when we have standard equation, this is also called as the center radius form. Again, this is also called as the center radius form. Why? Because the standard equation will show us definitely the center and the radius. So that is the standard equation. So let us now try to solve for the given problem. So for the first one, so we are given the center at the origin. Again, all given will be having center located at the origin. And we could say that the center is located at point zero, zero. Okay. And the next given is that we are given the radius, which is 10 units. So, when we have this one, center located at the origin, 0, 0, and the radius is equal to 10 units, therefore, this is the equation that we will be using. Since there is no age k, okay? So, again, there is no age k because the center is located at the origin. Age is 0, k is 0. So, let us now write, this becomes x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. It becomes x squared plus y squared is equal to what is the given r? Very good. The given r is 10. And then square 10. And what is 10 squared? 10 squared now will become, yes, definitely that is 100. And we're, we are now given x squared plus y squared is equal to 100. And that is the equation of the circle having center located at the origin and the radius is equal to 10. Is that clear? Okay. So, for the second one, we are given center at the origin again. So, we could say that that is at point zero, 0. Therefore, that is our h, k. h is 0, k is 0. So, we don't have to use the second formula. All we will be using is the first formula, which is Okay, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, wherein r is equal to the square root of 5 units. So we are now given here square root of 5. So what are we going to do? So let us first substitute this. x squared plus y squared is equal to what? r squared, where r is equal to the square root of 5 quantity squared. Okay, but what happens now? Since we are given here square root, 
and we are given here squared, all we have to do is to, yes, is to cancel the square root and cancel the square. Are we clear? Again, if we are given square root and it is being squared, all we have to do is to definitely, yes, to cancel this out, cancel square root and cancel square. Okay, simplifying, we'll now be having x squared plus y squared is equal to what happens to square root of 5 squared? Yes, it will only be 5. And that is the equation of the circle with center located at the origin and with radius equal to the square root of 10. Okay? And let's now move on to the third problem. And for the third problem, we are given center located at the origin again. Therefore, that is 0, 0, and that is our HK. H is 0, K is 0. Therefore, we will be using again the formula or the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. We are given 13 units. Therefore, what happens to 13 units? Very good. All we have to do is to substitute. And this becomes x squared plus y squared is equal to 13 squared. Simplifying, we'll be having x squared plus y squared is equal to, again, what is 13 squared? What is 13 squared? That is 169. Am I correct? Very good. That is 169. Therefore, the equation of the circle having center located at the origin and radius equal to 13 units is x squared plus y squared is equal to 169. And that is the equation of the circle. And for the last example, we are now given center located at the origin again, therefore that is at point zero zero, and that is also our HK. And the diameter is 16 units. So we are now given here the diameter. But what do we know about the diameter of the circle? Yes, that is correct. That the radius is just half of the diameter. Therefore, we are now given R is equal to what is the diameter? 16 divided by 2. Therefore, our radius now is 16 divided by 2. Yes, that is 8 units. Okay? So, we now have here R. And the center is located at the origin. Write the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to, is equal to r squared. Okay, therefore, this is x squared plus y squared. Substitute r to the equation, and that becomes 8 squared. Simplifying, we'll now be having x squared plus y squared is equal to, what is 8 squared? What is 8 times 8? Yes, that is 64. And that is the final answer. So, again, that is what we're going to do if we are given the diameter. All we have to do is to divide it by 2, and then we'll, we'll now be getting the radius and substitute that into the equation. So, this is the final answer. So, that is how we write the standard equation of the circle given um, the center located at the origin and given different radius. So, if you have questions, comments, suggestions, that um, that you might want to be answered, then you could send me a message or comment on this video. Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.